dear friends welcome back to my new lecture of the mathematics third for the CSE stream okay so the subject code is BCS 301 the module name is joint probability distribution so let me give you the brief description brief explanation about the joint probability what does it mean so let x is equal to x1 x2 x3 up to so so on up to xm and y is equal to y1 y2 so so on up to yn are two discrete random variables so these are the two random variables means whose values are unknown okay then the joint function of x and y is defined as p of x is equal to xi means when we just move over for the question you will understand what does this uh, x and xi means xi means uh, there are a lot of values of x uh, x were there so here suppose in this question one and two so this is x1 and x2 okay so and y is equal to yj means y1 y2 y3 that is why i am writing here as yj okay which is equal, also you can write it as p of xi comma yj means you have to uh, find out the probability of both these uh, discrete random variables means x and y together you have to find just uh, uh, sorry probability okay that is called as joint probability distribution okay or simply you can represent it as f of xi comma yj means in uh, togetherly x and y you have to find out the probability and these two conditions must satisfy over there that is f of x comma y mean, means when you find the probability that should be greater or equal to zero or when you sum these probabilities f of x y f of x i and y i it should be equal to one over there so these two conditions must be satisfied in this case so that then we can call it as probability distribution so joint probability distribution so uh, if i move forward for the question number first over here so that is the joint probability distribution of two random variables x and y as follows so the table will be given in the examination also so this is your x part and this is your y part okay so this is x1 x2 this is y1 y2 and y3 these are the probabilities given okay so this is probability 1 probability 1 2 probability 1 3 uh, p p2 1 p2 2 p p2 3 like that it will be given okay so what you have to compute in this particular question so you have to calculate e of x means expectation of x and expectation of y so there are some formulas which you have to remember at last i will give you the chart for the formulas otherwise if i make uh, the formulas for in the beginning itself okay so it will be difficult for you people to understand the terminologies so better to give at the last the formula chart so sigma x means variance and uh, sigma y also the variance over there okay so this is the expectation of x y and this is the correlation between x and y we have to calculate these four terms okay so let's start this uh, the first the very first question over here okay so let me start it so uh, when while writing the solution first write down the given data that is x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 5 so i will bring it here so this is your x1 x2 y1 y2 y3 okay so y1 is equal to minus 4 y2 is equal to 2 and y3 is equal to 7 okay are you getting my points so this is the given data and what are the probabilities given so probability p11 means first row first column that is 1 by 8 p11 is equal to 1 upon 8 and p12 is equal to 1 upon 4 p13 is equal to 1 upon 8 okay these are given 1 by 8 1 by 4 1 by 8 right then second column p21 is equal to 1 upon 4 p22 is equal to 1 upon 8 and p23 is equal to 1 upon 8 so these are the given datas now what we have to calculate let's see the given the probability distribution table is given so you have to make it again in the examination point of view okay so xy you have to write it again okay so this is your table is ready okay so this is f of xi means you have to sum these probabilities okay so that will become your your f of x xi so when you just sum these terms like in the column wise you will get g of yi okay it will be later on useful for the for, uh, in the formulas so 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 you will get 1 by 2 okay I hope you will calculate it like uh, you just multiply this with 2 it will become 8 and it will become 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 4 upon 8 is 1 upon 2 okay you can calculate it it is not a tough job over there so next is 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 8 it will also come 1 upon 2 okay so when you just sum these column wise terms okay 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 you will get 3 by 8 over there okay 
here you will get 3 by 6 here you will get 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 that is nothing but 1 by 4 okay so this should be 1 always 1 when you just uh, sum this this term these terms and these terms it will come to 1 okay 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is always 1 so 3 plus 3 uh, like that when you just uh, add it you will get 1 over here okay so you will do it next part is the marginal distribution of xy the marginal marginal distribution this is important to calculate just for the further formulas you will understand later on don't worry the marginal distribution of marginal distribution of x and y are what does this marginal distribution means okay so this is nothing but this f of x i and g of y i take x i term and f of x i here okay what is the x i term means 1 and 5 so 1 and 5 you should write here what is the respective f of x i 1 by 2 and for 5 1 by 2 okay so 1 by 2 i am writing 1 by 2 make a box for it this is your marginal distribution of x i and for y i okay so for y i what are the y i terms minus 4 2 and 7 with respect you have to write g of y i okay what is the g of y i for minus 4 so it is 3 by 8 right so for 2 it is 3 by 6 and for 7 it is 1 by 4 this is your marginal distribution table so you have to calculate it and make it separate okay so that you can use formulas with ease over there right i hope you are following and now first term what we have what we are supposed to calculate that is compute the following expectation of x and expectation of y so we have to calculate this so the formula for expectation of x it is given by summation of x i into f of x i very simple formula means x i <clears throat> what is the uh, x i value one okay one into what is the respective value of f of x i one by two so 1 by 2 you have to do summation of these terms 1 into 1 by 2 plus this term 5 into respect to f of xi okay so 1 upon 2 this is clearly mentioned here summation of xi f of xi means you have to multiple this and this term plus this into this term okay i hope you are following and you will it will come uh, over here that is 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 that will become 3 over here okay <clears throat> so you can calculate it so next is expectation of y okay so expectation of y is simply equal to summation of y i g of y i okay so y i is here and g of y i is here okay so you have to write it accordingly minus 4 into 3 upon 8 right plus 2 into 3 by 6 okay in sorry plus 7 into 1 upon 4 7 into 1 upon 4 so when you calculate it calculation part is yours i don't want to make this video too long dear friends that is why i'm uh, uh, i'm avoiding this uh, what we call calculation part okay so which is which will come here as one the answer will come as one here so this is expectation of y is equal to one and expectation of x is equal to three i will just make a box for it so that later on it will become easy for me to put the values okay this is your second part is over sorry this is first word expectation of x and expectation of y it is over now what we have to calculate uh, expectation of x y so see here how we calculate expectation of x and y so in order to calculate expectation of x y there is no formula but you have to check the table okay so see here dear friends you have to summation you have to do summation of these terms like 1 into minus 4 into 1 upon 8 okay so 1 into minus 4 into 1 upon 8 this is your first term plus this 1 into 2 into 1 upon 4 respective probabilities you have to check 1 into minus 4 into 1 by 8 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 plus 1 into 7 into 1 by 8 i hope you are following 1 into 7 into 1 by 8 this is your first first uh, terminologies then plus 5 into minus 4 into 1 by 4 5 into minus 4 into 1 upon 4 okay another term plus 5 into 2 into 1 upon 8 5 into 2 into 1 upon 8 plus 5 into 7 into 1 upon 8 5 into 7 into 1 upon 8 okay when you just calculate these terms it will come up to approximately 3 upon 
2 over here okay this is your answer for the expectation of x y make sure you will calculate it take a calcy you can easily calculate this part okay simple multiplication is over here so this is your expectation of x y now second part your second part is over expectation of x y is over now we have to calculate sigma x sigma y and correlation let me calculate now sigma x value so there is a formula for sigma square x okay there is no direct formula for sigma x okay so sigma x square is equal to summation of x i square into f of x i uh, minus times expectation of x whole square fine so x i square mean already you have drawn the uh, marginal distribution table okay so this is your x i means 1 1 square into f of x i is 1 upon 2 okay plus this 5 square 5 square into 1 upon 2 this will become your summation of x i square into f of x i minus expectation of x square already we have calculated expectation of x you have to square it that is 3 square 3 square you have to do okay when you just calculate calculate these terms you will get 4 sigma x square is equal to 4 so sigma x is equal to under root of 4 sigma x is equal to so sigma x is equal to you will get uh, 2 by uh, calculating root 4 over here okay so then for uh, for the sigma y sigma y square is equal to summation of y i square g of y i minus expectation of y whole square oh, i hope you are following it okay so this is your y i square means in the marginal distribution table y i is given that is minus 4 you have to square it minus 4 square into respective g of y i is 3 by 8 okay so this is your 3 by 8 then plus next term is 2 this is your 2 square okay 2 square into 3 upon 6 then next term is 7 7 square into 1 upon 4 okay so this is your 7 square into 1 upon 4 this is your summation of y i square g of y i minus expectation of y square means already we have calculated it expectation of y is equal to 1 so 1 square once you calculate sigma, uh, sigma y square you will get 75 upon 4 so sigma y is equal to under root of 75 by 4 you will get sigma y is equal to 4.33 okay so this is your part calculation part so uh, this uh, third part is over now see here sigma x and sigma y is over now we have to calculate correlation of x uh, x comma y so before going to this term we have to calculate one term over here which is extra so this is covariance of x comma y so it is given by expectation of x into y minus times expectation of x expectation of y only you have to put down the values of expectation of x y and x uh, ex and e y so what is the value of expectation of uh, x y so here you have calculated 3 by 2 so 3 upon 2 minus what is the value of expectation of x so it is 3 and expectation of y value is 1 so it's simply 3 into 1 when you calculate covariance of this you will get minus 3 upon 2 by calculating the above term okay this is your covariance so now we can calculate the fourth part that is correlation of x comma y it is given by covariance of x y okay divided by sigma x and sigma y now covariance already calculated so what is the covariance value minus 3 upon 2 upon sigma x sigma x value already we have calculated that is 2 over here okay so sigma x is equal to 2 into sigma y already calculated 4.33 so when you calculate this value so you will get correlation of x comma y is equal to minus times 0 0.1732 this is all about the joint probability question i hope this is clear to you people make sure you will uh, share this video to all your friends who actually need it so thanks for watching my video